fixed dose combinations, let us look at salmeterol, salmeterol actually, salmeterol and fluticasone. Okay. So basically, do you think this is a rational drug combination? First of all, what is salmeterol? Salmeterol is actually a beta 2 agonist, receptor agonist. So it can be an adrenergic drug, right? So it is a adrenergic receptor agonist. So it is a long acting adrenergic receptor agonist. What does beta 2 do? Beta 2 will dilate the bronchus, right? So you remember here beta 2, though it is inhibitory, but it will do bronchodilation, right? So basically you are giving here salmeterol with fluticasone. Now fluticasone is what? It is a steroid, correct? So basically salmeterol is a long acting beta 2 adrenergic agonist which dilates the bronchial smooth muscles. Fluticasone is a steroid, right? It is a glucocorticoid. It is a, it's also a long acting inhaled glucocorticoid which decreases airway inflammation and reduces bronchial hyper responsiveness. So basically it reduces the inflammation, it reduces the hyper responsiveness. So it is a, um, it is a, basically it is a steroid <clears throat> and uh, now you have to tell whether these two can be given together. <clears throat> so do you think this fixed dose combination is rational or not? It turns out this is a rational fixed dose combination, right? Uh, it is used in the management and prophylaxis of chronic severe asthma and COPD. So for asthma, they can give this, okay? So inhalation it is. So what exactly happens is when you give salmeterol to fluticasone adequately, so what happens, they control, adequately control the chronic severe asthma. So addition of salmeterol to fluticasone adequately controls chronic severe asthma. Okay, it reduces the dose requirement. It reduces the dose requirement and it also reduces the adverse effect seen with higher doses of glucocorticoids. So as the dose of the corticoids come down, so you will need less and hence there will be less side effects, okay. Prolonged use of beta 2 agonists um, down regulates the beta 2 receptors, okay. So basically prolonged use of beta 2 agonists is not very advisable, they are saying. So if you are giving salmeterol long term, what will happen? The beta 2 um, agonists, the receptors, they get down regulated, okay. So the beta 2 receptors get down regulated in prolonged use and it is pre this, this can be prevented by glucocorticoids. This combination is rational. So let's make it green guys. This combination is rational. It is correct. You can combine it. Okay. Salmeterol plus fluticasone.